I'm Dr. Bernstein and we're going to be discussing aortic dissection. Aortic dissection is a catastrophic separation between the layers of the aorta. Classically, the initial insult is an intimal tear. The intima is a thin layer and under the high pressures and pulsatile forces of aortic blood flow, once it is breached, the blood enters the media layer and essentially jackhammers a new lumen. The media will continue to peel apart longitudinally and thus an aortic dissection can propagate not only down the aorta, but into all of the major vessels, including the carotids, renal arteries, iliac arteries, coronary arteries, and even into the pericardium as the separation of the media layer propagates. The most common location for the intimal tear is the first few centimeters of the ascending aorta, just after it leaves the heart. The next most common location is just distal to the left subclavian artery in the descending aorta. People with congenital weakening of the media layer are prone to aortic dissection. Marfan syndrome is a hereditary disease of elastin, and Ehlers-Danlos is a hereditary disease of collagen. The association of Marfan disease and aortic aneurysms and dissections often shows up on tests. Both predispose patients to aortic dissection and are classic test questions. Aortic aneurysms predispose to dissection according to Laplace's law, which states that the larger the vessel radius, the greater the wall tension required to withstand the internal fluid pressure. Some other uncommon causes include forceful weight lifting, cocaine use, and severe hypertension, all of which increase shear forces and physical stress to the aorta. You must know the classification scheme for aortic dissections. Look at the attached image carefully and learn it. It comes up on tests. The Stanford classification system is the more commonly used one and is easier to remember. Any dissection involving the ascending aorta is a type A. Just remember A for ascending. A dissection that involves the descending aorta beyond the arch is a type B. Remember B is for beyond the arch. Under the DeBakey system, type one involves the ascending and descending aorta, type two only the ascending aorta, and type three only the descending aorta. The DeBakey system is less commonly used and is a bit more cumbersome, but you should at least learn it. At least 60% of dissections are Stanford type A, which is the equivalent of DeBakey types 1 and type 2, as you can see in the image. Dissection is an extremely painful, acute, and life-threatening condition. It usually presents with severe midline chest pain that radiates to the back, and the typical patient is an older male with poorly controlled hypertension. Pain will be described as sharp or tearing in nature and will not improve with nitroglycerin. If a subclavian artery is affected, there may be a difference in blood pressure in each arm. 20 millimeters of mercury is considered a significant difference. Check bilateral blood pressures if you suspect dissection. If a carotid or spinal artery is affected, there may be focal neurologic deficits. Chest x-ray classically shows a widened mediastinum, although this is only present in about 60% of patients. The study of choice is a CT angiogram. Management involves reducing blood pressure to the heart and minimizing shear forces in the aorta. Esmolol is often the drug of choice for its easy titratability and heart rate reduction. Avoid using a vasodilator such as nitroprusside to reduce the blood pressure without first administering a beta blocker since the reflex tachycardia can worsen shear forces. Type A dissections require emergency cardiothoracic surgery. Type B dissections are usually managed medically with beta blockers unless a branch artery is involved that is causing acute organ ischemia.